sent me in the wild goose chase. Goose chase. I get back to where that low runt Gerald Way is standing, fully ready to give him a piece of my mind when suddenly a head pops out of the classroom next to his locker. Mm -hmm. Lucian, don't you have a third period to get to? <sighs> Fine, Mr. Vega. Oh. Wow! Now I'm officially ten minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. We're not cool. Um... You must be Justin. This period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Hmm? I'll do anything in the back. <laughs> Mr. Vega leads me in and I take a seat at one of the comp... Comically small students' desks in the back. I might get stuck in this. This guy looks like Tom Selleck. I just want to say. My mom would totally have, like... Yeah. Hmm. All right. Where were we? Now, who can tell me about the unreliability of the narrator and J.D. Salinger's catcher in the rye? Um. Yes. Colin. Colin stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow and makes a fart noise. Oh. The whole class erupts in laughter. Hmm. All right, all right, everybody. Very funny, Colin. Please sit down. Now, Holden Caulfield is an unreliable narrator in the sense that... The bell for the end of the period rings. All the students immediately get up and walk to the break for the front door. Huh? Remember to do the reading and answer the response questions on page 194 in your textbook. Nobody listens. Hmm. Or not, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Vega turns to me in size. Um. <sighs> Middle schoolers, right? Do you teach, like, high schoolers? Uh, Both. You know, budget oh. cuts. Don't you teach, right? Right. Hmm? Thanks so much for coming in. <laughs> no problem, Mr. Vega. Did I turn, like, from Pakistani to Russian now? Like, is he a Russian guy now? I'll have to go back and listen to how <laughs> I changed it. Hmm? Please. Call me Hugo. Eh. I don't normally do these impromptu parent-teacher meetings, but as I'm sure you know, Amanda's a very bright student, and I'm concerned about her recent behavior. What's going on? Uh. Amanda's never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignments and has been doing rather poorly on tests. I'll normally chalk up this up to seniorities, but, uh... This is strange. I thought Lord Amanda always shared everything with me. It hadn't even crossed my mind that something might be worse. I just wanted to ask, is everything okay at home? Um, we just moved. Well, we just moved recently, but it was only to the other side of town, and Amanda was more excited about it than I was. Uh. Ah, see if you can talk to her about it. I know she values you a great deal and would appreciate your guidance. If she keeps heading down this road... Uh. I know how important art school is to her, and I would hate to see her miss out on the scholarship money that she clearly deserves. I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Mr. Hugo. Hey! Hey! Anytime! On my way out, I stop thinking for a moment, and then I turn to Hugo. Hey, Hugo! Ah! Ah, yes! They ever catch that rye? Ah. Yes! Oh. Ooh, he likes you. Man. Wouldn't it be great if, like, just hearts appeared? If you, like, if I, like, romanced you, just be like, oh, and then you see this little heart, like, come up behind you. That'd be so cute. That would be such a good idea for men. So men can actually see if what they're doing is good and what they're doing is bad. So you see, like, a little heart floaty like they have on Facebook come out. And then if it's an anger floaty, the little anger face comes out. You probably see a lot more of those than the hearts, though, so it might make you sad. Yeah, Why? Can you fix this game? I was so no. excited about this game. This is your first, like, this is your first, like... I want to build stuff. I want to build stuff. Well, do you want to do... Do you want to stop and play, like, cities? And that's, like, SimCity? Or do you want to... I'm so tired. I'm so tired. This game is so boring. This game is boring. Ah, you play it. I know, but I thought it was going to be fun, and I thought there'd be ro more romance. <laughs> I thought there'd be more romance. So, did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Vega and I actually gossip about celebrity crushes. 
So I talked about Mario Batali the whole time. It was a very productive meeting. Oh. I'm pretty hungry. Can we grab some dinner? Sure thing. Let's go out. Let's go to the food court. See if we can see other men. Men. Does that sound good for you? Mm. Yeah, sure. What mall? Jeez, can a dad take his daughter to the mall? Mm. Fuck off. Will you buy me things? Oh my god, I will buy you a thing. Singular. Sounds like a deal to me. We drive in silence for a while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. You know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents. And that's okay because, you know, sometimes that's what kids do. That's okay. But always, sometimes it's good to have the parent's perspective, you know. Maybe a parent have also dealt with the similar situations. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is it's good to share. Love you. Have you been reading my tweets? You have Twitter? Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> never mind, never mind. Look, sweetie, Mr. Vega said you haven't been participating in class, and that's not turning things and you're not turning things in. Oh, I'm fine, Pops. Senioritis and all that. Oh, seniori se senioritis? Senior oh, Senioritis? I don't know. No. I thought you liked Mr. Vegas class. Mm. It's fine. He's fine. We pull up to a stoplight and I, I, Amanda. She's still texting. Just, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Uh-huh. I can tell that whatever it is, she doesn't want me knowing about it. Uh, I heard Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California. That's exciting. Yep. Are, are you bummed that you guys aren't going to the same school? Yep. Mm -hmm. Amanda keeps texting. She stiffles a laugh. Stifles a laugh. What's so funny? Uh, uh, it's a... I don't think you get it. Okay. Who are you texting? Who are you texting? Who are you texting? <laughs> Noah. Oh, who's Noah? My friend. Oh, does he go to your school? Yeah. Do you like huh? Noah? What? Noah! Oh God! I can't believe you went. Dad, oh! I mean, I mean, jeez. Why would you? Ah, oh, gross! That was the best part of this whole game. That was so much fun. Sorry, sorry. Just asking. Dad, he's just my friend. Guys and girls can be friends. He's just my friend. I'm a lesbian. Don't you know? Okay, okay, it's fine. Jeez! This is going well. This is going so well. <laughs> well, good talk. Love you, kiddo. She leans forward and turns up the radio. I guess the conversation is over to the mall then. <sighs> oh, look, we arrive at the mall. A big indoor mall. Shopping center with different floors. Kind of dead. Let's eat something disgusting yeah. for dinner. Hell yeah! Language, Missy. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah? Better. <laughs> we approach the food court and evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns just looking at the menu. No one looks too happy. What do you move for? Bread dipped in sugar? Bread with cheese on it? Or do you just want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? I extend my hand to her. Well, y you would do me the honor of sharing some... Oh, would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? She takes my hand with a grin. Ah. It would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. We ordered a giant pile of chips and unnaturally orange cheese for a very unenthusiastic and possibly stoned teenager. You want some cheese with that? There you go, man. We take a seat at a rickery table and dine in. These are bad. Like, these are very, very bad. But also strangely delicious. We have to eat through the pain. We enjoy the fluorescent cheese goodness together, and we're all out of nachos. Until we're all out of nachos. So, oh. something was bothering me for a while. Can you explain mm. memes to me? <sighs> Which meme? Uh, all, uh, all the memes. <laughs> Dad. How do you meme? Dad, it's complicated. See? It's Mimi. If, give me the Dad, it's complicated. See. <laughs> 
Memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, dad, like all of us used to have already done the joke to death. And what's worse than that is that movies and TV and video games will try to jump in on a meme train, but just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out. So it just dates it and like it isn't funny. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Dad, please. <laughs> anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? You wanna go to that goth store? Mm, what? You know, the, the one that's all black and tries to establish yourself as this anti-establishment despite being an exact representation of an establishment. I... I don't know what story you're talking about. You know, the one where you can go and buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on what people fought so hard for in punk and hardcore moments in the 70s and 80s. Dude, you gotta be more specific. The one you threw up at that one time. Huh. Oh, that one! <laughs> yes! yes. You mean, um, hot topic. Amanda runs in the store with me trailing behind. She makes a beeline for the yeah. bag. There it is. You can still see the outline, kind of. I'm so proud. Speech. Amanda. All right. Speech, 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 speech. All right, all right. I'll do it if you stop chanting, stupid. <laughs> I clear my throat. <clears> throat. Thank you all for joining us here today to commence an, a historic moment that would shape, forever shape history on a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda Ann Loveless had too much blueberry raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. After begging her father to take her to the dead goth and beyond to buy rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over the display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. I would too. Her loving father then had to pay for the said merchandise, which to this day remains among our possessions. Thank you. Amanda's moved. She begins clapping. Slow at first, then faster and more vigorously. Some other patients turn their head. One of them also starts clapping. I bow my head. Hey! Ah, oh, hey! Chain wallets! While Amanda busy herself looking over the brand t-shirts, I find something of interest to myself. Not much for a dad and goth dead goth and Not beyond. Much for a dad to look at in a dead goth and beyond. Let's see. Peruse the band t-shirts. Look at ironic mods. Check the clearance bin for hot to those band shirts. I barely know any of these bands. Cannibal Bone Party doesn't seem like music I would enjoy. But they're really happy and the retail outlet is carrying their merchandise. I hope their parents are really proud of them. Look, this is very important to me. I overhear a stiff confirmation over at the cash Stifled register. Stifled argument. argument over at the cash register. An older gentleman is carrying a garment and shows it shows it to a bored looking cashier with pink hair. I can see that. You don't know. I don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. Listen, when I bought this outline, the website said the blouse was Victorian inspired. However, when I received it, it clearly had the trademark of Edwardian dressage. Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave it if I give you a coupon? Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager. I see. Well, it would seem that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your supervisors will receive a strongly lettered word by post. Whatever, dude. <laughs> the man whirls around and storms out, his literal coattails trailing behind him. I can't tell if it was Victorian inspired or Edwardian in nature. Amanda trots up with the t-shirt in hand. Oh boy, oh. here it comes. Hey, Dachon 5000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. Thanks. At least it's only one this time. Amanda plops the shirt on the counter and grins at the cashier. I love your hair. The cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up, radiating hatred. I hand her. So what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls his eyes. So hard, I'm worried she's gonna pull something. That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. She hands Amanda her bag and it clears the conversation is over. We make our way out of the store and head home for some rest. Amanda and I sit on the couch, trying to find something to watch over bowls of oh. ice cream. Oh, cool. Long haul paranormal ice roll ghost truckers is on your favorite, right? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but are also hunting ghosts. Oh. Also, the trucks are haunted. 
This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best ones. Caleb and Flint, dog bone, twin brother, truck driving, and ghost hunting duo finds himself the greatest peril yet. Oh, oh no! The ghost don't got control of the truck! I can't steer on them! They're damn ice roads! Let me use this EVP meter to try and 